Hi everyone. Rehearsal marks can be really useful during rehearsals, especially for big scores with lots of instruments, but they can also be useful while composing or arranging, just to keep track of where you are in the score. For instance, in this big band arrangement, I've used rehearsal marks to keep track of the different sections. To add a rehearsal mark, select the first beat of a bar, that is the start of the new section, then go into palettes and text, and select this B1 rehearsal mark. And I can add more by doing the same procedure and they will automatically uh, follow on from each other. If I forgot to add one here, obviously this is a bit quick to add rehearsal marks, but if I forgot to add one and I do it now, they do not resequence themselves, but instead I have the A1 as you can see. However, luckily at any time we can go to tools and resequence rehearsal marks, and that puts them all in the correct order again. You can also change these to numbers if you prefer, just by changing the first one. Instead of A, we can make it 1, and then again we can go Tools and Resequence, and it will follow that pattern of using numbers. And the other really useful one that I know lots of people like to use uh, is instead of using numbers or letters, we use the bar numbers and just have a big bar number box on the top. And so this one is bar 13. If you put in the correct bar number and then use tools and resequence again, now we can see that all of the others have the correct bar numbers as well. If you want to change how all of these rehearsal marks look, you can go to properties with nothing selected and go to style settings. Then we'll go right down the bottom to text styles and in here find rehearsal marks. I feel like we need a search function in these menus. There we go, rehearsal mark. And now of course we can change the size and the font and all those kind of things. And even better, we can change it from a circle, a rectangle, sorry, to a circle. Right. Uh, and so we can make it look exactly as we want to make it look. Now there is a shortcut for adding rehearsal marks, which is control M. But as you can see, it creates a blank rehearsal mark and it's not automatically num numbered. So I don't use it too much. In fact, the whole idea of having two different ways to add rehearsal marks seems a bit confusing to me. Perhaps someone can explain it to me in the comments. Bye for now. Okay, so quick bonus about rehearsal marks. You know how if we're in a score and we've got the bon rehearsal mark up here, and this is quite a big score, this is a wind band. Uh, it would be nice to have it above the brass and maybe above the percussion as well, so that at a glance we can see where these rehearsal marks are. Not possible in MuseScore at the moment. However, if we create a new score, and if we use the templates of orchestral, either classical or symphony orchestra, let's go symphony orchestra, and if we add that rehearsal mark here, it also adds it above the strings only. Um, so that works in the templates, but unfortunately there is no other way to reproduce that at this stage. Or I should say, there is a way to do it, but it involves hiding things and making it visible in other things, and it's really annoying, um, where it's the kind of thing that we just want to work. So if anyone feels like developing that, please do.